Want to go see some bugs? Honeybees are really harmless and they make really cool stuff. Honey that we can eat and they pollinate your flowers. My name is Tom Wilk and I'm a beekeeper for Wilk Apiary. Like just everything these little bugs can do and how they'll go three miles to get nectar to make honey and how they all work in sync with each other in total darkness. It's totally cool. I've been beekeeping now. This is my fifth season. I started in 2012. I have 32 hives in nine different apiaries. Beekeeping requires patience in that you're working around 50,000 stinging in insects. You can't rush through it. You have to be deliberate in your motions. You have to be deliberate in how you pick things up and how you move things so you're not squishing them. It's not right to go into their house and kill them for no reason. So you want to go in and you know, do as little harm as possible because then they'll get back to work faster. I was deathly afraid of bugs. This is one way of getting rid of my fear. Uh, you smoke to calm the bees when you're going to open the hive. Uh, what smoke does is the first thing it does is the bees smell smoke. They think, oh, there's a fire. We might have to leave our home. So they fill up on honey because they need that honey to help build more wax. So they fill up on honey, which makes them a little slower, a little happier. Uh, second thing it does is it hides the pheromones. Bees communicate with pheromones as well, and it will mask the pheromones. So God forbid I squish a bee when I'm opening the hive. When you squish a bee, it really releases a pheromone that says, help me sting somebody. And uh, they won't be because of the smoke. How do I extract it? I do it without chemicals. And we cut the wax cappings off the front and then put it in an extractor, which is basically a spinner. So it flies out of the honeycomb, rolls down to the bottom, and then we take it out from the bottom and bottle it. All the money that I make selling honey gets used to keep the bees alive. I bought a lot of bees this season. One out of every three bites of food that you eat has something to do with honeybees, and I do believe that. My favorite thing about beekeeping is exposing people to it. I really enjoy teaching people about the bees, letting them see it, helping overcome their fears, showing them that it's not a dangerous thing. Hey guys, I'm Nell Casey, the food editor at Gothamist. Thank you so much for watching. Click to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more delectable videos, and let us know in the comments where in New York City you'd like to see us film next. I'll catch you all on the flip side.